All right, now we're gonna work on creating a, a, a orthographic or a multi-view drawing for this door piece. Remember the door is the one that turns here. And so what that's gonna be like is we're gonna have to draw the different views of that as you see it. And so the first view we're going to draw of the door is going to be the front view. And so if you notice this time I have orthographic paper, so it's just like a regular graph paper. Um, don't forget to fill out the title block information at the bottom and then find a point and we can go ahead and start our drawing and so again our uh, door is three inches and so I'm going to count over by fours one two three four that's one inch one two three four that's two inches one two three four that's three inches and so this again is this is the width dimension for that door and so I'll go ahead and darken that line in Next we'll have to put in the height for the door. The door is three quarters of an inch high, 0.75. So I'll count up three spaces, one, two, three. Put a dot, three from the other side, one, two, three. Put a dot. Right in the middle, right here, half an inch up, we have that hole. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a center mark. So a center mark is a long line and a short line right in the middle on the center point of a, of a hole. And so that's going to be our center mark. And I'm going to go ahead and sketch in the hole. I'm drawing a circle here, and I went about halfway on each one of these boxes next to it, and that way I know that it's about a quarter of an inch, and it'll be close enough for our sketch here. All right, so that takes care of the front view of our door. We need to next make the top view, and so if you can see, I'm using my straight edge, and I'm going to go straight up along that line, and I'm going to leave maybe about two inches between views and so I'm going to count up one two three four and then I'm going to count up four more one two three four and I'm going to put a dot and this is where that other view is going to start and so the top view of it is if we're looking at the object this way and I'm just drawing this view right here if I was looking straight down at that door so I can move across this. I'm going to put a line for where the center goes. Just a really rough line on my sheet. And then I'm going to go to the other edge, line up my ruler, and I'm going to draw another line. Now I know I'm starting here. I know that the object should end here, so I don't need to count or measure anymore for the width dimension. So I can go ahead and draw that in. This dimension in the top view is called height, or excuse me, depth. So I'll go ahead and I'll sketch that in. It's a quarter inch, so that is just one box on our paper. Then I'll sketch in the back line to finish out the overall shape of that view. The last thing we need to do is represent the hole that goes through this object and so we have a center mark. What we need to do is I'm going to take my straight edge and I'm going to try to make it as straight as possible and so I'm basically what I'm doing is I'm projecting this hole up to this other view. And So I'm just going to draw two dashed lines. Those lines are called hidden lines and they represent the hole that goes through our object. All right. 
So what I'm talking about is if we look at our piece right here, it has a, a, a set screw going in it right now, but if I um, were to look at this part, there's a hole that goes through it, and so if I'm drawing hidden lines on the top of that right here to represent that hole. Okay, and then I again have my center mark on it right there, and that's it for the multi-view for the door.